So I'm bringing Ebony down to keep Ginger company because the O's in the, with lambs in the orchard don't need her company. Come on, girl. Atta girl. Good girl. She already kind of knows she's going this direction. Come on. Atta girl. Got the magic bucket. Whoops. This way. Come on, girl. Good girl. Because Ginger is going a little bit loopy without her mates close at hand. Oh, God, don't trip me up. She's trying to stop me so that she can put her head into the big bucket of food. Okay. Now, don't forget to close the gate or you'll be in trouble. Come on. Atta girl. Come on, Ebony. Now, if I put that there, close the gates. Yeah, you're getting all panicky because all your mates left. Okay. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, Ginger. Come on. Go on. You're going to be lambing soon. You've already been nesting. Go on. She's desperate to get to her mates. Come on. Come on. Look, Ebony is there. You've got company. No, it's not the whole flock. No. Come on. She's like, I want to go out into the field. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I always tell Ginger has this chevron bar across her nose. Go on. Okay. Using the gate. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now you just relax in there with Miss Ebony and have your lambs. She's just desperate to get out with her mates. I probably shouldn't have done that because now she's going to delay lambing for some time because uh, of the stress. Oops. Anyway, there we go. I'm going to leave them be now. Oh, all her mates are gone. Yeah, no, well, you're in for lambing. Nope, you're not going. Sorry. Have your lamb. Ebony's like, this is cool. I got a mineral lake, water, food. I'm fine. Okay, I'll come out in a little while. Hopefully she'll settle with at least Ebony's company.